What's up guys? Happy Sunday. I am high key stressed. We have a lot to go over over the next week. Uh, we have more immunology stuff and we start micro this week and then we have an exam the following week. So I'm like, I have no idea how I'm going to tackle it. There's like 23 boards and beyond videos. Uh, it's like a total of like 500 minutes worth. And then if you do the Anki cards like that associate with those videos, there's like 3000 cards. Uh, my class is pretty stressed. And on top of that, we have all these other commitments. Like I'm studying for anatomy right now. So I don't really know how I'm gonna tackle it. I made my pass tracker um, and I'm kind of just hoping I can get through as much of it as I can. So here's my pass tracker I made for this upcoming week. I don't even really know how I'm gonna get through all of it. Like there's so many details, there's so much immunology stuff. And then we're even going into microbiology, which I haven't taken either classes. Here's like disorders we have to learn this week. I did a little bit of pathoma for it. And then here's all these microbes we have to learn, which again, I never took microbes, so I don't know any of this stuff. So this is all very new to me. Here's all the boards and beyond. I've done like three videos so far and I still have a lot to go. This is my past tracker from last week. So I still don't feel like I've done an adequate amount for each of these subjects, but I kind of have to move on to next week's material. And on top of all that, I still have to study for anatomy. Let's see. Oh, hey, hey, look at me go. So there's nothing I can do besides do my best to tackle all of this. I'm gonna try to study a bit more anatomy tonight. I feel pretty good already, but I'm gonna do more anatomy. I'm gonna go through some boards and beyond tonight. And the goal for tomorrow is just do all boards and beyond and try to finish all of this week's boards by Tuesday, which I think is possible, but it's a lot of content. It's, it's tough. Appropriate immune response. And sometimes people will interchangeably use the word hype. All right, as recommended by a bunch of people in my last vlog, I did get Notion. I made a school list and I can go to like IMS, exam three, and I've put all of my past trackers into here. You can see my concepts past trackers in here. I can go back and I can go to like all the disorders I have to learn. And I do like that it's a lot more organized. I like that I have like week five and six. I can go to six, go to concepts. It's, it's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna like using Notion a lot. Before I go to bed, I'm gonna water my children. Also, look how long the hanging plant is. I'll have to find a picture from when we first got him, but like, this is so long. He used to sit like above the peace lily and now he's hanging so low. Good morning, everyone. So I did finish my anatomy quiz about half an hour ago. I got a 10 out of 10 on it, which is awesome. I felt pretty good while I was studying this weekend. Uh, so that's good. But I did just get off the phone with a classmate to talk about how we were gonna tackle this week's material because it's a lot. So let me show you. So here are all the boards videos I have left to watch. This is for this entire week, which I actually want to try to finish as many of them as I can today. There's 16 of them. I think I can do it. And the reason I want to finish boards today was because I also have to learn all these microbes. So I wanted to start using Sketchy this week. And so if I could finish boards today or tomorrow morning, then I could start Sketchy tomorrow and then start going through these microbes. So yeah, I know it's a lot of boards videos to watch, but I think I can do it. I just got to commit my entire day to it. Uh, it's only 9 a.m. I think I've got time. I think it's gonna be fine. But uh, first, I think I'm gonna make some breakfast and then I'll get started. And since I'm about to eat something, I actually want to tell you guys about a multivitamin that I've been using for the last few weeks from a company called Ritual, who is actually sponsoring this week's vlog. So I had heard about Ritual in the past, but up until now, they had primarily provided women's supplements. So I was pretty stoked when they reached out to me and told me that they were introducing Essential for Men's. They were really nice and sent me their Essential for Men's multivitamin to try out for a few weeks to see what I thought. Honestly, I really like them. They came straight to my door. They smell and they taste minty, which is a really nice change from other multivitamins. It also has a delayed release, no nausea capsule design, which is really, really nice because with previous multivitamins I've used, I get a little bit nauseous or a little bit like GI kind of discomfort and I have not gone that in the last few weeks using this which is really really nice. They're vegan friendly, non-GMO, sugar free, gluten free, and major allergen free which is really awesome. And if you're like me you might prioritize work or school over personal health and in the past I've had vitamin deficiencies on lab work and I've taken multivitamins but I pretty much just always stopped buying them after I ran out because I would just forget. But what's really nice is that Ritual is a subscription based supplement that's delivered straight to your door every month. And so it pretty much only costs like a dollar a day to have these essential nutrients delivered straight to your door every single month. This is extremely good for someone like me who's just terrible about maintaining their vitamin regimen after they run out. Ritual is essential for men was designed with the average man's diet in mind to make sure that we're filling in our nutritional gaps. They looked at men's dietary intakes, lifestyle needs, and even genetics. As a medical student, it makes me feel better knowing I'm still doing things to take care of myself, like taking a multivitamin. And right now, Ritual is actually offering my followers 10% off for their first three months. That is 10% off at ritual.com slash Sean. I highly recommend leveling up your nutrient intake and filling in the gaps in your diet with Essential for Men. So yeah, I actually really do recommend them. Before I continue on with the video that I'm watching, I do want to show you guys that for the next few videos, what I'm going to try doing is rather than marking up the slides on my iPad, I'm going to try just taking notes in Notion because I think while I'm taking notes on the iPad, like I'm spending so much time writing things that I'm just kind of 
slowing down. I'm not keeping up with the video versus here. I'm a lot faster of a typer. And so I'm going to try to consolidate information here in a little bit more of a concise and organized manner while I'm watching the videos to see if I kind of maintain a higher level of activity and kind of involvement while watching the video. It'd also just be really nice to have all my video notes consolidated here in an organized manner. That way, if I need to reference them, I can kind of just come over here and look at my kind of condensed notes. But again, I don't know how well this is going to work. It's my first time using Notion. Plus, I'm only a few weeks in medical school, so I'm just kind of messing around with different techniques at this time. Anyways, I've procrastinated enough, so it's time to start grinding. Okay, so a little bit of an update. I ended up deciding not to do what I was doing earlier, which was this, like typing all the stuff up while the boards video was playing because I ended up just really not paying a whole lot of attention to the video and just ending up just typing a lot of what was already on it. So what I decided to do instead was actually start marking up first aid, which is something I forgot that people recommended doing. That way you're kind of seeing the same content from two different resources since boards and first aid go really well together. And also what I started doing instead was in the microbe section of my notion, I started putting all like the relevant information for the microbes in while I was kind of watching the video and going through first aid. That way it's like consolidated and I can have like the key features of the microbes here. Um, and I think that's been working for me a lot better. I, I just kind of gave this a try instead. But you know, that's kind of the whole point about the first few months of medical school is trying to figure out what works better when it comes to studying. And for different subjects, you have to study different ways. And so part of my whole reason for having a YouTube channel is to show you guys all these things. So even when I do different things or change my methods, I'm just still gonna show you guys and um, show you what I'm changing and what I'm doing now still might not work, I don't know. But that's the whole point of uh, bringing you guys along on this journey is showing you the little changes I make and hopefully they work and hopefully uh, I figure this all out soon. I am exhausted right now though, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep going or if I should take a break. I might try starting to watch another video, but honestly, if I start falling asleep again, I might just take a break for a little bit. All right, I only have six videos left and so I'm almost there and I've really been focusing on getting all these microbes kind of sorted out. It's been taking me forever. But I'm actually stuck here for a while to go to my parents' house. I have to do some laundry and print out a parking pass. Finally finished folding everything. And while I was folding, I was actually watching Ninja Nerd to get a passive run through of immunology. I pretty much knocked out as soon as I got home last night. But now it's time to get up, finish those board videos, and then I've got PBL at one. Okay, so I finished the board videos, or at least the ones with the relevant material that our school wanted us to learn. And as you can see, my microbes list is kind of filled out. I'm definitely gonna go back through this and organize it more, but there's a couple that I either kind of missed um, or were not in the videos. Like here's a few uh, microbes that I missed. And then there's a couple of viruses that weren't talked about, but I think instead of like trying to go find them in boards, I think I'm just gonna watch the sketchy videos for them since that's what I wanna do anyway. And that might've just been enough the first pass for these, but I guess I'll find out. I'll probably start sketchy tomorrow, but for today, I wanna to go through all of these recorded lectures that my school posted. There's a lot of them, but I think I can get them all done today. So for class lectures, I've been annotating the slides and then consolidating information onto my past tracker. But now I'm gonna go shower and eat and get ready for PBL. I am exhausted. I cannot wait to get home and get some sleep tonight. Okay, so I just got home, but I think I'm gonna try to get through adaptive immunity parts two, three, and four before I go to bed. That way I can just like have all these lectures done and I can move on to other stuff I wanna to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna try to knock this all out. All right, I am finally done and I consolidated all my notes into Notion. I feel like this entire vlog is gonna be me exploring Notion, which I'm not mad about because I really like it. So thank you guys who recommended it on my last vlog. But anyways, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna wake up early and try to get through some monkey cards. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. So I've been laying in bed doing Anki cards, but now I have to hop on a Zoom call to do an assignment with some classmates. Okay, so I just got done with that. I've got my community service class at 10, so I'm gonna do Anki cards till then. There's a lot of Anki cards for this week, and I'm honestly really behind. So I'm gonna try to spend today, tomorrow, and the next day trying to catch up as much as I can. Yeah, that is not good. All right, so I just got done with the class, and I think I'm gonna change what I was planning on doing today. So originally, I was gonna start doing sketchy, right? Because I had done the boards and beyond, taken notes, and I wanted to solidify it with Sketchy and just try Sketchy to see how I like it. However, I am really behind on Anki. So I had basically unlocked all the cards while I was watching the Boards and Beyond videos, but there was just so much content to go over this week that I just wanted to keep moving on and just get that first pass done and get familiarized with everything. So I really slacked on Anki. I've been trying to like start doing it and I was doing some this morning, but there's like a lot to do. Like I'm really behind, like over a thousand something cards. And so 
I think I'm actually gonna focus today on Anki at least like the first half of the day up until about 4, 4.30 because I'm gonna do like a little live stream at five. And so I think the first half of the day I'll focus on Anki and then after I live stream, I'll probably just like do like practice questions and stuff for the rest of the day. And then same thing tomorrow, just like wake up and prioritize Anki and just spend the next couple days really catching up. I think I'll start sketchy either Friday or Saturday, but just because I have the days um, more available to me. And I don't think it'll take me all day to do sketchy. So that's kind of the plan instead, because yes, I've been learning the material, but by not doing the Anki cards, I'm more at a disadvantage because I haven't been like retesting myself on the material. So I think it'll be more advantageous to like go back and do sketch to do Anki. But I know that this isn't the most optimal way to do Anki. Like if you're watching this and you're an Anki user, I know you're like cringing because you're like, you're supposed to do the cards and you unlock them. And I know I just, I didn't. And that's part of this learning experience was I wish I had done it. I, I do agree with Anki. I think it's a great resource and a way to kind of get that space repetition, but I definitely didn't use it right. So I'm gonna to try to catch up on that today. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Okay, I totally took a break and got distracted by social media, but I'm back at it. This one is retroviruses and I am done. Well, the thing is I'm not technically done because there's probably like another 800 new cards because I had a limit of 800 for today. And so I didn't go over that, but I think I did like more than enough for today. I'll probably just catch up on those ones tomorrow but this was a lesson learned. I really should have just done the Anki cards while I was doing the boards videos, but I was nervous about not getting through all the content. So I kind of rushed through the boards videos and just took notes instead. Um, but it's fine, I think. I mean, that's not really how you're supposed to use Anki, but I learned from this. I'm probably not gonna do that again because sitting here doing Anki cards for this long was just obnoxious. And now I'm gonna take a break for like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna shower and get ready for the live stream. Cleaner. <laughs> just got done with the live stream it was so much fun i really enjoyed doing it and i look forward to it now every single week and if you were there thank you so much it means a lot to me so my professor sent us all these practice questions i think there's like 60 in here so i'm gonna try to start going through them since i watched his video lectures yesterday all right i'm 12 questions in and i've only missed two so not doing too bad okay i got to question number 37 but i did promise the boys that i would play half an hour of overwatch i'm gonna take a little bit of a break all right, so I finished all the practice questions. I don't think I did too bad. There was definitely some that I struggled a little bit more, like this, like the receptor and what it binds to. I know I need to go back and study that. And the reason it took me a second to start vlogging again was because I had actually also done my PBL presentation on lymph nodes, which I have to give tomorrow uh, at PBL. And so I was doing all that. But now I'm gonna go to bed because I've got class in the morning and probably a ton of Anki cards to do, which I'm not looking forward to. But anyways, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. I have like a thousand Anki cards to do. I mean, it's not as bad as yesterday, but my motivation is so low right now. Local came in the mail today, guys. I guess I'm an official med student now since I have my copy of Pathoma, even though I've actually already had it on my iPad and I've been annotating it and I kind of prefer doing that. Still kind of cool to have an actual copy. And now I've got class, which I might be running late for because I can't find the Zoom link. Okay, I'm in class right now and we were actually given about 15 minutes to work on our notes uh, for those patients that we had seen, the actor patients. So I'm currently writing it out. And now it's time to head over to campus for PBL. Okay, I'm just now leaving campus and I forgot to mention this earlier, but since today's Thursday and our exam is next Friday, uh, I stayed after to meet with my study group because we like to meet before the exams about a week before and just go through practice questions pretty much every single night until the exam. And so today was kind of like day one of practice question week and we kind of just kept it light. That's why I'm leaving at seven and I'm honestly probably going to relax for the rest of the night. I want to do a little bit of video editing, but I'm not really going to do too much else. I think even just the practice questions we went over helped a lot, but I kind of just want to relax, maybe finish up my Anki cards for the day and then probably call it and then tomorrow we're gonna be back on campus to do more studying so yeah for now i'm just gonna go home and relax for a little bit oh my gosh premiere pro is giving me so many issues with editing it literally took me hours to get this thing rendered and ready to go but it's gonna be out tomorrow morning which will be actually before this vlog goes up so make sure to check it out I did not think I was gonna be up this late editing. I thought it was gonna be so quick and I don't have time to study, but I guess not, but that's okay. I'm gonna try to wake up early tomorrow and get some stuff done and I'm gonna meet some classmates on campus around noon. So it should be a good day. But anyways, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna head to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. You know, it's actually pretty relaxing just laying in bed on a Friday morning doing some monkey cards. So I kind of just went full send and got sketchy.
Yo, I am a sketchy stan. These videos are so cool. Basically, sketchy uses like pictures and storytelling to help you remember these little details about the microbes. So, like if there's like a cat in a picture, it helps you remember that the microbe is catalase positive. And like just like little things like that. That way later when you're trying to remember these little details about these microbes, you just think back on the picture and you kind of remember it a little bit easier, which for me, I'm a visual learner. So stuff like this is like perfect. So I'm really excited to watch more of these videos. All right, I finished about six videos on some of the microbes that are gonna be on my exam. And the goal for the weekend will be to finish the rest of the microbes on my exam. I really like the videos. I feel like I retained a lot and the quizzes are really helpful too. Is this nice nice Syria? Yeah, so what I was thinking is that it's, maybe Neisseria meningitis has so something to do with I, I really thought that this was a group A strep. Yeah. Strep pyogeny. But maybe it is Neisseria, because Neisseria meningitis could be uh, if it's Neisseria then it's C five fifty nine. Yeah. But is it Neisseria? Maybe. Does he have any neck issues? If you have C three complement deficiency then you cannot opsonize. And you also cannot just initiate any sort of complement thing. Because you're not going to go from C3 to C3A and C3B. And then C3B is the one that's being converted into Yeah, shape. but then can it be C3? Because it can also cause glomerular nephritis. Can it? Yeah, because the, you can't, like the immune complexes. Wait, but how are the immune complexes being formed if you have a deficiency of complement? Um... Oh wait, are you saying that are you saying that the the complement is binding all the things and then it's deficient because it's just like Yeah, because it's binding and then like you can't do anything about it. You know? Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Oh good job. Which one was it? A. Oh nice. Oh nice. Thanks, man. You're yeah. making you're gonna make another appearance. <laughs> here, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll put them here. We'll do like a walking clip. Do they look clean? All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My sneakers have made two appearances now. <laughs> I just got home from campus and honestly, I'm exhausted. My classmates and I were a little bit sluggish and so we decided to call it a night. I think we're just tired from the week and today's Friday, so we've just had a long week of classes. And so I think we're gonna reconvene tomorrow, but for tonight, I'm just gonna relax for about an hour, play some video games. And then I'll spend the rest of the night just doing a little bit more microbiology, going through some pathologies and diseases that I was a little bit iffy on, and then maybe some more practice questions. Hi. <laughs> Do I keep going? This is quality content. Thank you, thank you. All right, so I went through some more sketchy videos and I actually went through some first aid stuff and uh, went onto my past tracker and wrote down all the defects, presentations, and uh, findings of a lot of these like immunodeficiency disorders that I had a really hard time with while we were doing practice questions because I really just didn't know the difference and how to tell them apart. So I kind of went through all of them and again, wrote out the defects, presentations, and findings. But I'm pretty exhausted now and I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's Friday night. I have to edit this between now and Sunday and I kind of have it all out on my plate right now. Uh, with all the stuff I have to go over and we also got our new punch list for next week Which is like all this pharmacology stuff. We have to learn before the exam as well and the exams in six days So there's a lot going on right now uh, I know this week was a little bit slow, but thank you guys for coming along with me and the next time you guys see me It'll be right after my next exam. And so hopefully it goes well. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week